At the moment, I live in Kim Pioneer. It's uh, about 10 kilometers away from the mine. It's a close-knit community, so everybody knows each other. Everybody is working towards the same goal. We have a mine that will be opening in the not too distant future. And every day we're preparing and planning to go into the operation phase. I was born in this region. My dad was working at the first mining project in the area. At 13, I moved to Houston, Texas, and I went to high school and I did my college there, but always had getting in my heart. I was always thinking about how can I contribute uh, to the country, how can I help things get better. And that's what led me to come back. It's not just about mining and taking the raw material. We have to think about the impact we have. If you want to be here for a long time, you have to make society better. One of the main reasons people are not able to move out of poverty is because they don't have an education. And so we have a project called uh, Project 150, training 150 young graduates from the area. And at the moment, we're, we're teaching them like a basic curriculum. And later on, we'll also train them specifically on what they will be doing once they work for us. The important thing about Project 150 and what makes it special is that the trainees are not expected to work for GAC. We're training people to be able to make a living for themselves. And to us, that's very important. I definitely get a sense of pride when I see people progressing. I know where they come from and I can see where they're going now. The more knowledgeable people we have, the more we can get ahead as a country. My personal hope for the future of Guinea is for us to become a developed country. We have so many resources, we just need to make good use of it. And I think God can play a big role in that. 10, 15 years from now, I hope that Guinea is one of the countries that you can be proud of and we can be like a shining star, a success story. God can definitely contribute to the success of Guinea.